Hey, it's L. No, it's oh, geez, I forgot you my said own. It right I forgot my own time. intro. No, it's not. Hey guys, it's L. Hey, I'm L. I forgot my own intro. Oh. It's you're screwing me up. You being in here is is throwing off my. Hey, I'm L. Guys, this is Max, and this is Sweet Potato. No, don't, guys, stop. No. Usually, I tell you guys stories alone here with Sweet Potato, but today I have a guest. This is weird. Hi. Okay, so this video is about how we met. I guess it's our love story, huh? Take a take a slice. Of I'd rather not. Okay, this is Max, guys. This is Max. He's my <laughs> husband because we got married. I married you. Remember? I did. Yeah. Oh. Right. First of all, like, tell them one thing about yourself. You like, like to skateboard? Yeah, okay. And? I like penguins. I guess this is our love story. Yeah. So me and Max fell in love at a McDonald's. <sighs> it's true. We have to rewind a little bit. But before we get into this romantic, best ever story in the whole world, a quick note from our sponsors, Fillmore Attend. Really? In the middle of our love story, you're gonna do a sponsorship? The, go s skateboard with some penguins. Hey! Fillmore Attend. It's an editing program. It has a whole bunch of new features. Keyframing, customizing the preset animation, color map. It also adds more new effects, elements, text style. And what I really like about it is that it just has a really simple interface. It's not hard to use. My favorite is the motion tracker. Sweet Potato's about to have a poopy head. <laughs> Hey, stop it. You deserve this poop. So if you like to make videos and you want to make them fun and have a good time with your friends, free trial link down in my description below. The cool peeps at Filmora are also doing this cool giveaway with this software. If you comment hashtag LCartoons with Filmora and tell us in that comment the type of video that you want to make with Filmora 10, I will pick one of you guys for a one year free license. That's a long time. More info in the pinned comment. Thank you so much to the people at Filmora Wondershare for supporting this episode. And now back to the juicy love story. No, seriously, let's get back to this. December 2012, Max worked at this like indoor arcade type place. Where I made funnel cakes and fried Oreos. What did you used to do at that place? Job. Uh, you know, throwing the hot pretzels, threw food around. We used to pour water in the hot oil and watch the oil explode. I meant, I meant like, what did you actually do? Oh, I was the guy that said, welcome to the funnel cake stand. That's a cool job. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, there was a ton of people that worked there. And your sister was one of them. My sister, you guys know Jessica, worked at the ice cream shop right next door. Everyone was friends there. Jessica always asked me to come hang out with you guys. And I always said, no. I was scared of making friends. I was scared of socializing. Here we go. I'm totally fine when I'm with my close friends. Cause I know they love me. But someone new, new coworker, new neighbor, somebody's mom, I don't care. Boys, any new relationship, I'd rather stay away from so I could never get hurt. I was putting up a wall. No emotions, please. Safe behind the wall. Okay, Donald That's Trump. not what I mean. We had a McDonald's for like four minutes away from our house. Oh my God, we were so lucky. Four minutes. Oh my Focus. God. Focus. It's kind of everyone's hangout spot in our town because it was open 24 hours. Me and my sister, sometimes at like three in the morning, if we were bored, we'd just go there and get McFlurries. And sometimes the crushed Oreos. We get it, we get it, we get so it. So Jessica was getting out of work late. She texts me saying, hey, you want to go to McDonald's? Get a McFlurry. Which is something she normally would say. And I was like, yeah. So I get there, I see her, and she was there with all of her coworkers. And not only do I have social anxiety, I think everybody's judging me and hates me and doesn't like me, I was in my bright yellow pajamas. It was one in the morning. I know, it's just nobody else wore their pajamas in public. Yeah, you came to the table with your McFlurry. I went for, for a McFlurry and I wasn't gonna leave without it. I went to my sister's table, you were sitting there. Well, I was there. I started dipping my fries into my McFlurry and eating it, cause that's what normal people do, but you were like, what are you doing? And I thought you were gonna make fun of me or call me weird, but you were just like, you're awesome. And I don't know what it was, but the way you said that sounded so genuine. I liked that you were different. Really? Yeah. This pizza isn't, isn't horrible, I'll be honest. You sure you don't want it? That's any? gross. 
Okay. And the craziest part was that when you stood up, you were also in your pajama. That is true. That moment was when my heart dropped. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to get married. I think it was the next day or the day after. You had a whole bunch of people. I was having all of our coworkers over for a video game night. And I texted Jessica asking if you wanted to come. And I said... No. <laughs> right. Scared of new people. Yeah, I have problems. But it was a video game hangout, and you know how much I love video games. Specifically Nintendo 64. Specifically Nintendo 64. It was tempting, but no. So I was going to stay home, but that's when she texted me a picture she took in your basement. It completely changed my mind. It was a picture of... A shelf. Filled with every toy from the Nintendo store you can imagine. I love that shelf. Ah, that was amazing, hon. Wait, can you do that again? I just did it. That was all. Do it again. That was amazing. I can't do it again. Max, that was like opera. Please do it again. Ah. Oh my god. You know, that was beautiful. Thanks. All right, anyway. It's literally the only reason I came to your house. I'm not kidding. To see it up and close in person. To see that shelf. That's why we're together today. When she texted me the picture, I was having soup. The soup was called like roast beef. And it was just like broth. It was like the only thing we had in the house. I got that text message rolled through as I was like sipping on this soup. What does that have to do with the story? Nothing really. Oh. So I ended up going over and we played video games together till like three. It so was four in the morning. There's only a few people left sleeping over and I was way too tired to drive home at that point. So you were just like, I want to sleep in my bed. No. You just asked if I wanted to sleep over on the couch. I know. I remember just laying remember there. Remember what you asked me? Oh, that's why I brought up the soup story. I really wanted to tell you that I had a good time tonight. That would be like me taking a stone away from my wall. It's a huge step for me. So I was like, hey, Max. And then I totally chickened out. And that's when I said it. Have you ever tried roast beef soup? The worst question ever. <laughs> And then I think I fell asleep right after you said that. <laughs> I think so too. A couple weeks later, there was a New Year's party. Yeah, this is it, guys. This is it. That my coworkers were having. By that time, I told Jessica that I liked you. But Jessica told me. I told her, I kind of feel the same way. Don't tell them. She told you. And that's when she said, you're coming to this party tonight. She was carpooling with you after you guys were done with work. So I had to drive there myself. And I get to this party with a bunch of people I don't know. You knew one thing there. The punch bowl. Let's just say the bowl was full of more than just fruit punch. We were 21. 22. Right? 21, 22. Yeah. I got really scared because I was just this turtle behind a wall. I didn't know anybody there. Anyway, I was really nervous, so I took a little bit. The bowl was gone. Anyway, by the time you got there with my sister, oh, should you tell them about what you're going to wear? No. <laughs> no, tell them. No. Tell them. No. They go to pick up Max in the car, and Max comes out in this Hawaiian shirt. I'll Button down short sleeve Max shirt. Max loved these ugly Hawaiian shirts. My sister's like, You are not wearing that. Stupid, stupid Jessica making fun of me. Anyway, by the time you got there, I was punched out. Laying on the floor. <laughs> Look at the pretty lights. And the ball was about to drop. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight. eight. Seven, six. six. Once the ball drops, you're supposed to kiss someone. That's what everyone does. You somehow got me up. It wasn't easy. Three, Three two, two, one. Happy New Year. <laughs> I just. I got slobbered on. I was a little sloppy. You bit my lip. And somehow we started dating. The and this pizza oven is horrible. P.O. Box. The address to the P.O. Box is in the description below. I'm gonna be filming a video of me opening up your gifts from the P.O. Box. What, Max? Oh my god, I'm not saying that. Yeah. Alright, click the L bell, Max said. Goodbye, bye-bye. The L bell.